Hello and welcome, Cosmic Quantum Travelers. I hope you're doing good. Um, it's been very interesting energies. I have actually, for the first time in a long time, been able to kind of relax. Um, so that's also why I haven't recorded anything or posted anything. And even when I say relax, I mean, yes, it is in the deepest sense. Like there's a deep peace coming to the heart. A big, a big general rebalancing, harmonization, shift, flipping of the field, as I've spoken about in my previous videos. I mean, this is it. Truly, fully, completely. And I believe the forerunners can truly feel this from within our own consciousness, their own body. There's a lot of pure God source consciousness frequencies running through our field being anchored the threefold fauna flame the primal sound and light fields of creation through us fully realized as the forerunners diamond avatars fully igniting the diamond sun god and rainbow plasma light body the aurora or bubble and macabre vehicle the truly corrected Cosmic Mother and Father Stop and Rock Principles, fully correcting our macabre field, all the distortions in the field, all the misalignments to the fallen black hole systems, fully clearing. Any reversals, inversions in the field, in our field, like our field is the field. Us, as the cosmic monad, the core of the core, make up the planetary body as we align, everything aligns, literally. So this is a huge reset of the divine blueprint and it's really the cosmic mother fully returning with her divine original source codes, divine blueprints, templates that create life. And again, she is at one with the divine father, but it's her principle that rebirths or births all of life timelessly, quantum style so again this is about frequency it's not about time it's all already here truly fully and what i saw especially since i posted my last video and post and included the free light language activation of the uh, cosmic heart healing and ignition i mean i know since we did this in the group container of the ascended master classes again thank you so much for all those who truly support me um and are here to make the magic happen on behalf of the oneness and are really all in and to really truly get this what we're doing here and how important this is and how much responsibility accountability you carry and this you cannot put this onto anyone else ever again you can't give your power away to any politicians black magicians cabal members friends, family, no one. You own your reality and that's how you become a conscious co-creator again by no longer blaming anything outside of us. And again, taking, making responsible, like taking and making people responsible and accountable for what is affecting us or what they're doing or not doing is a whole different matter. It's the same as the difference between judgment and discernment. And having, you know, like being totally closed off and having healthy boundaries. So um, we're literally here. So again, like, I don't know, like, um, so I posted a 52 minutes long, really potent, very powerful, uh, valuable to our ascension, heart healing and ignition activation. Hardly anyone really says thank you, I have to say at this point. It's like this, you know, is invaluable gifts from me to you. And it's like, I would really appreciate some feedback. I know it's super powerful. I know this is literally helping us, has helped us to complete all of this. Bring huge peace to the field, huge coherence, helping us ascend all of what I've been sharing. And people just don't, I don't know, get it, don't value it, don't appreciate it. Or at least I don't express it. That's another thing. Also, like, you know, when you, that's a big message that came through today. 
if you don't speak the truth when you know you should, this is also a form of lying. You need to understand you're here to bring truth, true divine justice, order to all realities. You do this in every moment. And if you don't do what your heart tells you to do in your soul, you're contributing to this mess, quite frankly. That's how it needs to be said. Because this is how God wants me to transmit this. So this is about, and this is a very strong message why I'm even coming on today. Because quite frankly, I'm in holiday mode. That's the, the main thing, the main shift I experienced over the last few days is the shift in, for me, constantly downloading information, constantly needing to share this and transmit this and assist everyone to, mm, we're done. And very little comes through because it's all here now. I've shared literally everything, all of the instruction sets, navigational tips, instruction sets, navigational tips for our new divine organic blueprint of the cosmic Christ, the hierogamic blueprint of the triple solar masculine and feminine principles, the holy grail codes, divine union codes in order for us to ascend. One for four. So now that all the karmic crap has cleared, all the black magic, all the interference patterns, it's done. All that's left is you and your ego, your false self, better word for it. Because really, you need to get rid of all compartmentalization, dogmatism, judgments, polarization, opinions, belief systems, you need to transcend it fully in order to now make our biggest dreams a reality and to go beyond all of these boxes that the compartmentalized mind has made up in order to keep itself in polarization. So let me be very clear here and before i say this now forget it so if you still want to listen and you haven't yet to the cosmic heart healing and ignition activation yet it's included below you can download it for free as mp3 or access it on my soundcloud soundcloud again i appreciate donations also to support me to help bring um put enough money together for first month's rent and deposit so I can have a proper home and get some support back from the field so if you would like to do this the best is always um, kind of via PayPal as a friend to kind of get rid of all the extra charges that I put everywhere these systems that we are fully getting rid of as we come together also as the support systems for one another that people like me provide spiritual support, real support throughout these times of great transition from the foreign realities to what is really real. And also, so two things before I forget. forget, forget. Um, so on the 28th, Saturday, we are going to do a live call and activation. I haven't had the time yet and focus to put together the description of it. I've started, but it's not there. So I can't post it. And um, so I will do as soon as possible when it's ready in divine timing, alignment. And also I'm really behind emails, any kind of admin. I will try to get back as many as I can over the next few days. Thank you for your patience in all ways, shapes and forms, all your support. And um, yeah, I just need to really take time off the last few days. Also because I had my daughter there, Flower. Hi. Hey. Um, today I got my second ear piercing. So we did that. Yeah. So she got a second ear piercing. It looks very pretty. Yeah. So she has a gold one, a second one, and then the bottom one is a pearl. You can't see it from here, but oh well. Golden yeah. pearl. Mother of pearl. It does come on. It's very pretty. I know these cameras just don't do it just. <laughs> So the children are free again as mother, father come fully into divine union in all ways, shapes and forms. 
That's what makes our biggest, wildest dreams literally a reality. Imagination is what creates reality. Thought creates form. These are basic principles. This is where we get to shift it all. This is why all of my work has been really around reprogramming. I put a cozy jacket on her and it's a new jacket. It's like it gives her the sleepy. We've been up quite late over the last two nights. That's what. So anyway, so your imagination is what literally creates reality. So think it, feel it, create it, let all the way go of any attachment to outcome. Just know magic is happening. Christmas is here now. All we've ever could imagine, dreamed of and more. And then just get busy. Same. We're not waiting for anything anymore. Santa Claus, yeah, Christmas is the theme yeah. since like, since ever we went to Glendalough, rem remember? Yeah. Yeah, and there was like the, the, the Santa Claus, which we found in two cupboards. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was fun. So, so when it I was deleting pictures today, yeah, anyway, that was fun. Why, why terrifying? I don't know, but the wasps are terrifying and the bees. The wasps and the bees, yeah, but anyway, you, you kind of can, they, halfway transcend with that trauma, I haven't you? Yeah, that's what you remember? Yeah, and then I was dangling my feet off of the window. And she has great memory, and I'm always like, what, what happened? And <laughs> then there's this guy with a cat walking his cat. There? There was a guy that was walking. Okay, anyway, let's come back to the. What I wanted to say, okay, so I can stop the finish. Okay? All right. So, no waiting for anything, no one, nothing to happen whatsoever, whether it's ascension, anything, nothing, nothing. Get busy with life. Keep manifesting, keep dreaming. Creation, creativity is the key out of this prison matrix and psychosis into sanity and sanctity. True understanding, true truth, true clarity. Um, whatever it is, from a child's heart, nobody needs to like it, share it with others. If you can, your keys and your codes, but it's not necessary as such. As long as you ground it into 3D reality or however you want to call this, this, at this stage anyway, because we're transcending all boundaries, all limits, all imaginary boundaries, okay, that don't exist beyond in your own mind. You need to get us at a very deep level. Doesn't matter how, how complicated you want to make this. Usha Aina, Ukara Aina, Tukuru. So cosmic mother, cosmic mother of dragons, the mother of all, fully return. You know, Usha Aina Teak. Returning the true source codes of creation, the true blueprints, that's why everything else is being purged. So how quickly we can jump into back to the future, back to what's really real. That's what the basically the next activation will be about. And also it's a continuation of the last solar eclipse activation. Um, and again, I post details very soon. So keep an eye out for them for the 28th at the time of the eclipse. So we'll start around 7 p.m. UK time. Uh, and again, we go as long as we feel guided to. So you keep making the magic happen. No more waiting for nothing, no one, especially the, the divine feminines of the original twin flames counterparts, pairs, you just need to fully let go, take, let God take over, fully heal you, and you're no longer in any kind of codependent energies where you need anyone to do anything. Um, and again, this is really the inner child that wants to be loved, wants to be appreciated, wants to be, um, you know, a pat on the back, oh, great, well done, and, you know, getting the rewards for our creativity, for who we are being, being loved, being liked, being appreciated, being rewarded, okay? You give this to yourself. Yes, of course, we want this from our true soul tribe, but those who can't give it to us, just let them go, literally. Like, this is a huge 
clearing of everything that has ever been and it's like everything is being sorted out and uh, we are returning to the true soul tribes uh, who are supposed to be with and this happens through self-love and um, it means saying no to the things that are not um, giving back to you. So instant cause and, and effect, instant cause and effect is replacing karma because that's been fully cleared to full. This is like you in the end end up with your true beloved as you know everything, how everything happened, why it happened. There's ultimately nothing that needs to be spoken anymore in this space. Everything is known. There is no one who needs to forgive anything. Nobody who needs to ask for forgiveness as well as that's necessary in order for each one to come into alignment and to align your own divine blueprint, your consciousness. You know, just pretending everything is great and not correcting what went wrong is not going to do it, quite frankly. That's why suppressing, spiritual bypassing, or projecting it onto others, groups, places, things, and thus not do it. So let me, at this point, make it very clear. This has been always about a war between service to self and service to others. Neither one of those sides wins, whether it's the fallen angelics or the risen, they merge. We merge shadow and light, we merge both of these concepts, because both are necessary. It's service to all. You need to know in every now moment, you know, sometimes you need to step back, say no, service to self, <laughs> from exactly, and you can only serve from this overflowing cup, cup. So all of these reptilian imprints, reversals within the consciousness, inversions are also ser serving a big purpose. So everybody needs to understand that's what's going on out there, especially within the mechanics, uh, uh, essential mechanics community. The whole encryption behind the transmissions there, the energy is distorted polarity still. It's us versus them. It's the reptilians who are taking over. They're the bad guys. We're the good guys. This is not how this has been resolved whatsoever. It's the same as racism on a global scale of saying all the Germans are like this, the Irish, the English, the, I don't know, um, Africans, Canadians, each people from wherever they're at, I mean, where does it start? Where does it stop these days anyway? Because we're all mixed race. We're all mixed DNA. It's the same like with the whole RH negative um, blood, which has come up in one of my, I think it was the 909 uh, transmission group call and activation, which was beyond powerful. Anyway, so we were talking about the RH negative blood type and that, you know, it was said that basically um, this is kind of how the angelic race, you have RH negative blood type. I mean, it's so retarded at this point to speak about this kind of stuff. It's like as if back in the uh, days of the Second World War, if they could have like just taken everybody's blood test and like decided who's Jewish and who's not. And that's how they decided who to get, how to get rid of people or not. You know, just in reverse. It doesn't matter how you put this. It doesn't matter who you're putting up on a cross. It doesn't matter who you're trying to to project your unacknowledged shadow aspects upon. Now, the Lyran Wars, all of these invasions, inversions, could only happen as the original counterparts, twin flames, already had broken apart in trust. The masculine and feminine principles it was all part of the plan. You need to get this at a very big level. You need to fully transcend this galactic interdimensional racism. It's insane. And you don't even see that you're doing it. We all have mixed blood. We all come from different star systems. The same as, as at a global world scale. It's about consciousness. What are you embodying? It's the same as caste systems. Never mind what you are born into, which race, religion, nation, country, social condition. It's what are you making out of your potential. 
And as the Cosmic Christ blueprint is being fully rebirthed, it's here now, each one gets the same opportunity. It's about what are you realizing? That's the whole thing. The same as our super empaths. It's like you can see the highest potential within everyone, but what are people actually showing you? That's what's important right now. And what would life be without variety? This is literally what all of this has been about. And I've spoken about this plenty, about the whole expansion of the consciousness, aka blueprint, which is just when you mix all of these races, these polarities, and unify them within a field of neutrality, true oneness. This is not about pigeonholing anyone, any race, any beings out there. It's what are they portraying? What character do they hold? Never mind the shiny pictures and what anyone pretends to be. What's the energy? Because there are a lot of people who know a lot of truth. There should be a lot of shiny pictures. We need to see through the illusions and the lies and the man manipulation. That's how you literally heal your blueprint. Not by falling for the divide and conquer a <laughs> agenda within the agenda. Oh. oh, and I really mean as well because I've been there. Really. I've seen so many brothers and sisters turn against me saying that I'm teaching like false ascension and it's the opposite. It's so inverted out there, it's not even funny anymore. And I've seen many of my brothers and sisters being let down a very windy long garden path. And I know we're all returning home one way or another. And even those who stood against me and literally wished me evil, I know I still assisted them. That's why I sleep very well at night, quite frankly. So, slay. slay. That's how you do it, La. Now, as you change, your reality shifts for you, literally shape shifting now through our. Diamond God Sun, Rainbow Plasma Light Body, Aurora Orb Bubble, Macabre Vehicle, coming fully online, our multidimensional DNA through the frequency of true divine self-love, knowing who you truly are, nobody else's opinion, what I do or don't do, is going to affect this ever again. So you're shining, like the shooting star that you are, okay, it's going to go supernova, as your heart fully, like, this love wave is here. So what I saw happening since the last group call of our Ascension class container, and I'm going to do another one on Wednesday probably. I'm going to post the details today, so to say, on the 24th, for those part of my membership containers. And um, so since the last call where we recorded this heart healing ignition activation, which I have freely shared, um, huge heart healing, huge healing, coherence it's just all here now and that's also why i was able for the first time for the last few days just like take a break like literally it's like the universe gave me a break not constantly making notes and feeling like i need to transmit them because it's all here now so we are rewriting history as you let go of what was it's fallen histories fully now let it go already please what are we holding on to but inversions within the one consciousness that have played themselves out enough already, let it all the way go. Connect to source, true self-love, to now moment, nothing out there, who looks outside dreams, who looks inside awakens, fully now, as one, well. this is happening. As one. Well. Not some left behind. No. Full clearing up of all of this. Fully, truly. So, until there is just truth, aka love, left. And we can see with true crystal clarity again and not through distorted polarity glasses. Exactly. Because enough already, okay? Like, seriously. Us against them, the right and the left wing still belong to the same bird. That's a Native American proverb, I believe. You know here? No. Um, Do you need, there is one hanging in the wall. Okay. Just want to go. So, what would life be without variety? 
we would all be robots, we'd all be the same. It's all about celebrating. This is why we did all of this, to expand our consciousness. Fallen angelics are a future prospect of if you don't stop all of this judgment, hating, that's how you end up, literally. That's your pathway. And you will find yourself being, expressing that which you judge. If you can't transcend it and turn it into discernment, again, feel it all, so to say. Don't identify with it. Back to source. Show me the real truth. This is how source is redreaming reality through you right now. In its truest sense. Heaven on earth. Through you. Fully connecting with God source consciousness. Cosmic consciousness. Through your heart. Fully breaking wide open. All of the black heart affliction. Truly I can highly recommend the activation. Super healing. Um, and yeah. It's all here now. It's that you just... If you know you've done your work, you can just, in a way, relax and sit back. But I know I'm still being asked to do this. Um, because I know there's so much bullshit out there, quite frankly. Um, so we need to override with real truth all of the inversions of truth out there by sharing them. It's literally what you came here for. So remember, my success is your su Zip success. Zip down. Yeah, just give me a second now. Otherwise, just pull it off over your head if it gets too warm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. okay. I'm finished. So, the quantum is being fully accessed now for us fully embodying the blueprint, the stargate. Everything is fully locked in, fully ready. We are crystallizing, turning into our crystalline plus myself. Again, those ready fully. And um, it's your higher consciousness, true divine love, truth, fully taking over your vessel as you fully surrender to source. And it's your ego self. I could also see, so through this heart activation healing, all the ego remaining fully purging. I actually hit my knee and I had to look it up. I was guided to undo his hey kind of like quick view what, what it means, the knee, and it was the left knee, and it was like connected to ego and pride and like being stubborn and I had to laugh because it was like, you know, you can see it with other people, but you can, can't see it within yourself. That's the whole thing about judgment, okay? And I keep seeing it again and again. I was really like, I had an argument with God, I had an argument with my higher self. I was really like, no, I don't give a fuck. I'm so done, so done. And then the voices keep coming in as don't care. I'm done. <laughs> and then you hurt your knee, which then continuously hurts you for the rest of the day to keep reminding you when you look it up. It's like, okay. Um maybe let go of the ego here, stubbornness. So I did that. My knee feels a lot better today. <laughs> the left hand side is also for the feminine, right for the masculine, usually. So although this is a full pole shift flip this is the tipping point okay into all new free worlds as you fully free yourself from the this insanity from the limiting programming okay inversions of consciousness but everything is cool there is no again right wrong good bad it's multi-dimensional consciousness you need to be tuned into source true reality truth real truth where you know in every now moment what is truth you fully tuned in there is no guidebook there's no manual, there's no one course religion teaching you can follow to know, oh yeah, I'm safe now. Okay? This is you fully tuned in to your own navigational blueprint instruction sets that show you the way back home. In every now moment, the path appears as you walk it. Infinite abundance, okay? So all the way back home to Eden, our true self, our one true beloved, it's all the same thing, literally. Shuna Ainata. So imagine it's a superpower. I don't train you, you don't train me, and we just grow together. Now, that's a new blueprint. Forever perpetuating energy. We enrich one another, one another's experiences of life. 
we don't drain, we don't suck. That's how you get rid of the all inverted fallen light matrices, black hole systems, literally simplified. Ushanata. So remember how all of this really originated? How invasions can even come in. It's when your divine masculine and feminine are split, fragmented, your soul pieces. It's the chicken and the egg. What happened first? They, as 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 you create one thing, you create the other. It's quantum. As you get rid of one, you get rid of the other. As you get rid of the victim, you get rid of the victimizer. As you heal the split between the masculine and feminine, you get rid of all the invaders. Fully, completely, fully back home on heaven on earth. Ancient future, whereas if none of this has ever happened, and you get there for your divine union with source. And I've transmitted this plenty. Freely. From my heart to yours. We shall not do it. Now. We need to bring in balance, harmony, divine justice, peace, order, divine love, bliss, power, wisdom, truly. Back to this in all realms from within us, our own eman emanation of the cosmic Christ, what this means. The second coming of the Christ Christmas, the Christ Mass, true crystalline consciousness, cosmic God source consciousness to all realities. It's all one. Remember, there's only one of us here, one consciousness. Reimagining, imagining, dreaming all of this up all the time. I had a dream actually the other night, two nights ago, where it was like, um, I was in a dream waking up in a dream, remembering I was dreaming. Then I was becoming aware of waking up in a dream within a dream. And then I woke fully up. It doesn't make sense, but okay. It does. Watch the movie Inception. What the hell? It does. It's, we are awakening from the dream within a dream. You remember you're dreaming. You are the actor. That's another sensation I had. Where you can watch yourself, like me on a video, watch the video back. I could observe myself, seem like I could feel myself as myself, observe myself and be the actor and director, creator of all of this. All perceptions, the Holy Trinity, Holy Grail, fully remembered through you. You become the Ark of the Covenant. It's all inside of you. Stargate systems, the whole universe projected out from inside of you. Your deepest self beliefs, expectations. The cosmic monad ignites us all. Again, it's you remembering. It's not you making this up, especially not from your ego self. It's you fully surrendering and letting source redream reality through you, where truly reality becomes a dream now and dreams become reality for real. So let's make the invisible visible, the impossible possible. Love yourself as you are right now. There's nothing wrong with you. Imagine that again and again until you're fully there and we're all home. Fully, truly, remembering who we truly are. Who everybody else is, what has truly happened, how we really got here, the real true disclosure happening now, none of the other bullshit, 99% of people out there propagate. Okay, let's do this. Inside of you, okay? Not out there, inside. Keep going within, as well as you bring the inside out. Align all of yourself, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual bodies, every thought, word, feeling, action, belief, everything with that. Manifestations, super heightened right now, as all of the interferences have cleared, fully lifting, dissolving right now. This is where we align all of you with that. It's coming all in now, everything, all at once. Ushanata. But you need to make this real, okay? Keep making the magic happen. Again, I'm going to post the details for the 28th very, very soon. Details for the activation, the heart healing ignitions, uh, ignition is below. Super potent. Any donations, any feedback, thank yous, very much appreciated. Everything helps. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Do support that which you wish to see more of. And not that which you don't, quite frankly. That would be my suggestion in general. That's how you create, your attention creates. All right, that's it. So much love. So many blessings. You want to say bye? Bye. Bye.
so much love for mom. See you guys. See ya. And obviously, I know I'm like the main part of the reason why you watch this channel. But anyway, bye. Yeah, next time I go into this. She she has a business. I should have promoted today. But we do it next time, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. So much love. Bye 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 bye.